Hey, um, I want to welcome everyone to the Long Suan 1000 challenge. So Long Suan Pan Yutapum was a knee fighter from the Golden Age. Um, and after training with him and under his guidance, uh, I have started doing a thousand knees in each session uh, of my training. So the Long Suan challenge is to do a thousand knees and a thousand teeps every day. If you don't start at that, that's fine. And if you don't reach that, that's fine. The idea is to increase. I've started already. So I used to do about 300 knees and now I'm doing a thousand knees and a thousand teeps at each session every single day. Um, that kind of huge increase all at once uh, has definitely shown me some things about what can happen in that process. So in the first couple, I've been doing it about a week. In the first couple of days, I skinned my knee. So first I skinned my right knee because you're very sweaty and you're on the bag and you kind of drag your skin a little bit. So um, instead of stopping, I just went onto the corner of the ring. So I just went up in here and was throwing knees in the corner. You can also do them against the ropes and you can also do them just against a wall or you can just do them in the air if you don't have any of that equipment. But the point is to not stop. So um, I made a video where I was throwing knees in the corner of the ring so that you can see it and that's on my page, but you don't actually touch the corner at all. So you're throwing them in the air, but you're like using the corner of the ring for balance and you're, you can really like swing your hips on them, which is really good. So you keep the like momentum of them, even though you're not making contact. But once my knee healed up, I went back on the bag because you really get the most out of doing it on the bag and you really wail on it. Um, after doing that for a couple of days, because I'm doing a thousand at each session, I skinned my other knee. So I'll show you guys, that's what it looks like right now. So that's the skinned knee on my other knee. Um, and so I've been putting band-aids on it and I also went and I got this thing. It's basically like an ace bandage sleeve. Um, and I cut this to size. So this is actually much longer and I just cut it and I put it over my knee uh, when I'm throwing my knees on the bag, actually just so it doesn't make contact with the bag. Um, but again, these are just some things to kind of look out for. Um, you're gonna feel it for sure in your quads and in your uh, hip flexors. You're, they're gonna get really sore, but just stretch out as much as you can, keep going. Um, if you increase slowly, that's fine. If you stay at the same number every day, but do it for 30 days, that's fine. And it's important to do teeps as well as the knees. So even though he's a knee fighter and the whole thing is this like long swan knees thing, he made a big point about how you match your knees with your teeps. So this is a knee and teep thing. So I've been doing a thousand knees and a thousand teeps at each session that I train in the day. Um, my teeps get really low <laughs> because I feel them in my hamstrings and I end up just doing leg, keep, leg teeps over and over on these long bags. Um, you can also teep a wall, but I've been bringing myself over to a higher bag that we have. It's a heavy bag that sits about waist level on me to force me to teep higher because the bottom of the bag is about at my waist level. Um, that makes me do them much slower, <laughs> but it makes them much higher, which is really cool. So um, do what you can. If you start out at 20, that's what's comfortable for you. Just push to 21 if that's all right. But the point is to just keep pushing yourself. Every single day should be hard. Don't hurt yourself, but challenge yourself. Every day should be a challenge. It's not easy for me to do a thousand at all. And you just gotta keep doing them. And at the end of the challenge, if you're doing the same number you started with, but you're doing them all in one pop, or you do them faster, or you do them feeling like you're much stronger, that's having succeeded in the challenge. That's really what it's about. So I'm really working on like letting my hips and knees fly the way that I saw Long Sawan do it on the bag. So uh, even though I started a crazy high number, I'm feeling them more and uh, it makes me feel relentless, which is kind of the point. So yeah, it's fun.